out allumage Vulcan. Allumage is ignition and Vulcan is the name of the engine. That is main stage ignition. But we do not lift out yet. Uh, in fact, there will be a 7 second wait for 7 full seconds the computers and checking the performance of the main engine as it is functioning and checking it on the pad. Because once it's, li it's lift off, it is too late for to fix a problem after that. We're going to cut away. We'll let you listen to the DDO as he calls out the final countdown. Enjoy the launch, watch the engines and we'll be back. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. Through the clouds she goes at 16:54 local and right on time. Ariane 5 La beginning her mission, lifting off perfectly from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Beginning her third mission of the year, the DDO is saying that all is okay on board. These Les beautiful shots, always impressive for the people on the observation sites here at the base, in their cars or on the beaches, watching Ariane rising into the sky, leaving a trail of gold. And uh, we are La about 15 kilometers from the launch pad. And non. even here, you can still feel the sensation of launch. But if you're watching from the closest viewing station, which is only five kilometers away, you can really experience the sensation of the acoustic noise from those two boosters. They are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along this trajectory and even higher velocity. A launch is something quite sensational to witness. I imagine you've seen many, many of them. Outside, very few. <laughs> I am no. always either here in Jupiter or in launch center. Working, yeah. The one I saw was uh, from the VIP Le view. Est calme. Tous les à bord sont there are people watching at the Toucan uh, observation site right now. Yes, but my preferred place to watch is from the beach in Kourou. The scene by the sea is very impressive. Also impressive is the 780 tons that Ariane's weight is at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel per second, two and a half tons in each booster and the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. She's following the program in the onboard computer, which is giving all the orders. We're in the first of four, four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn, so you can follow Ariane. Right now is the first flight phase, the core engine burning in the, in the, uh, in the uh, main engine and the two boosters. The boosters go are going to extinguish right now. You can see them happening. Those are the two points of orange light on either side and the white light in the middle is the core stage continuing to burn. And then we fall at uh, 500 kilometers from shore and you put it together. Sont Everything normal on board. You remember the last time we had a daytime launch? I suppose it was for the first launch of Viga. It was in uh, February uh, 2000. February of last year, I think. L last year at 7 a.m. in the morning. Early morning launch, right. Early morning, La trajectoire yeah. est All right, all is functioning perfectly on board. We're into the second flight phase. The single core stage engines burning right now and burn for about nine minutes in all. We're coming up on separation of the fairing in about 10 seconds. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the Earth's atmosphere. We no, no longer need it. And shaped like uh, an OGA, the fairing protects the two satellites during the atmospheric flight. Fairing is 17 meters long and has an external diameter of 5.4 meters. And separation just is just given by two systems, one horizontal, one vertical, giving the two halves the necessary pitch for the lateral maneuvers. As you and you see. saw the uh, separation of the fairing revealing AlphaSat, our first passenger. That's the black and gold box. You'll be hearing a lot about AlphaSat in the films coming up. It's a big achievement for Europe. And uh, this, yes, this program demonstrates the finest technology Europe has to offer through implementation in a public-private partnership, PPP. or PPP, yes, yeah. between Inmarsat and ESA. It's the largest telecom satellite ever built in Europe at over six and a half tons, carrying also four ESA, European Space Agency technology demonstration payloads for Portugal, Italy, and Germany. And it's the eighth satellite launched by Ariane Space for Inmarsat, the British group. 
one minute to go in the lower stage burn. Tell us about the lower stage. This is the main cryogenic stage. It's uh, 5.4 meter diameter, uh, 31 meters long. Uh, it is powered by one Vulcan 2 engine that burns liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. And the Vulcan 2 engine provides up to 1 million 4,000 newton of thrust in the vacuum of space. Its nozzle is gimbaled for pitch and your control. Where there are different propulsion systems on Ariane 5, of course, there's cryogenics and the solid fuel. Exactly, and uh, of course, cryogenic is more efficient than solid propellant, which is used in the booster. Basically, solids are for getting up off de the ground and away from the pool of the Earth, while cryogenic will are more sophisticated. They are Allumage used for more precision supérieur. orientation of vehicle. You heard the DDO call out extinction of the lower stage and separation of the lower stage and ignition of the upper stage, all that coming right on time. Fin de visibilité de la station de Galio. These are three commands given by the onboard computer in about uh, 13 seconds. So we're into the upper stage burn. It's the third powered flight phase.